I own my own construction. I do oh, uh, no. demolition and reconstruction. Construction, okay. Do you have any kids? Seven boys. You have seven kids? Yes. By how many women? Three. What are your kids' ages? Uh, one is 24, uh, 13, 11, 9, 6, 5, 2, uh, yeah, 5, and probably 2. Why are you not with the two-year-old mom? Oh, she upstairs. She's wapping? She's upstairs. Uh, what's going on? What are you looking for tonight? I'm looking for a straight man that can... So I can get with, we can get together. I can get a uh, new benefits. I just want benefits with us to be together and we can uh, work together and don't got to worry about all the bullshit in, in a marriage. Like, we Are get you have my money. You're to bi- so you're bisexual? No, I'm straight. I just want another straight man so we can work together without a, all the bullshit. We can, he can have all the good, all the girlfriends he wants. I can have all the girlfriends I want. We just got the par- partnership act on paper. I'm so confused. So you want to have, so are you bi, you're not bisexual? No, I just want uh, somebody, a companionship, you know me, I don't got to worry about nobody taking my half my money. We can build together, work, work on stuff and Paris, we can have girlfriends. Know, I can have girlfriends. Paris, are you trying to be funny? No, I'm for real. Like, like a butt, like a best friend, like, you know, like a best friend, but we just married, we can get all the benefits. So you want to marry, being married. A, so you want to marry a straight man. Yeah, but we can be all, we can have our girlfriend, but we can all have. Why would you tell me as a straight man, you want to marry another straight man? Just for benefits. What straight man is going been in What straight man I don't know. I, didn't, I think a couple. I, didn't, I, I We didn't, me and my homeboy, we didn't talk about it. And we, our homeboys, we was like, that those sound kind of good because we don't got to worry about all the, the, the bullshit that comes with the modern day women. We just we just we just well, need you benefits. Have seven kids. I think women should say they want to do with the bullshit you come with. You have seven kids by three women. It ain't no walk in the park to deal with you. But but my me with some, my seven kids, all my kids are um daddy boys, and I take care of all my kids. It don't matter. Anyone that all my kids you, look towards me. And I'm a father. Number, you have seven kids, so that means she's signing up to be number eight, right behind your children. Why would a woman say I want to be eighth in line in anything in life? If, if if you're gay, just say you're gay. It's okay. We are. Uh, we are. I'm, yes, I'm we very. Are I am happy. Here. I'm we not, are a here that accepts everybody. I am very you happy. You are a bisexual man. It is okay. We are fine with that. We can find you a bisexual well, well, man. Well, I am gay because I'm very happy. I am happy. But I mean, I was saying, I was looking at it and I was talking to my whole couple people. We know. Couple people. We know. We asked. We talked to about each other. This is a safe space. You a lot of people, be, a lot of males I talk to, we talked about it. You can be bisexual. We won't judge you here. Just walk in your truth. Shalom, Mr. Brother Azan Amar. Back at you with another lesson. I pray this lesson is edifying to the lambs, to the sheep of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do but well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim and few Aqua who are watching now. All right, I'm just going to get straight into this. All right, this brother actually has, you know, after listening to him, you know, it sounds like a good idea on paper because he said he wanted to marry a man on paper. All right, being that he's not a, a bisexual or gay or a mo, he also said that the other man that he would marry was his homeboy. Okay, it sounds weird, but. You know, he can have all the girlfriends he wants. You know, it sounds like a good idea, all right, because the benefits that you may receive in a joint reunion, all right, and some of them are, you know, just off the top of my head, you got tax breaks, okay, married couples who file their tax returns together jointly. I think they qualify for a higher tax deduction, and you get credits, okay, more credits than a single father or mother who files by herself. You got social security benefits, um, obtaining credit, insurance savings, uh, you, you know, certain things like access to uh, benefits, uh, retirement contributions, you know, and you got shared cost. Okay. There's other benefits that you can receive here in Babylon, the great being married. 
All right, but it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea, okay? And it's not a good idea in the eyes of the Lord and of the laws of the land. And just listening to this simple woman Eve on the left, okay? Trying to push the narrative of bisexuality is okay. Okay, and this rainbow coalition, you know, being Babylon the Great, it's acceptable here, but it's not acceptable in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. You see, you know, Eve was beguiled by the serpent. So she's right, she's another whipping stick for the Israelite men. Okay, this is Leviticus 20 and 13, proving that point. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them, so it's upon you, all right, to uh, be a doo-doo chaser. Men who love men, because we live in this wicked place who changes and pushes the laws of God to be changed because they are anti-life, all right? Anti-life, and they're defiled, okay? This is Isaiah 24 and 5. It says, the earth is also defiled under the happens thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the orients, and broken the everlasting covenant, all right? So they have transgressed the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and changed the ordinance. And there's more going into that if you read Romans, the first chapter, pursuing to changing the truth into a lie. Okay, two men lying together doesn't produce life. Okay, but the brother said he already had seven kids. Which means he wants to use the system and benefit. And like I said earlier, it's a bad idea because the problem is Esau is not going to allow you to get away with this. Okay. You're going to pay taxes in his kingdom, okay? And you're going to do it lawfully. You do it unlawfully, you're trying to defraud the system, defraud the government, and it's ultimately going to catch up with you. So it's the best way to walk through the straight gate, all right? Jake is always trying to scam the system rather than do the things correct way, which is easier on your conscience because you can sleep better at night. You know, selling drugs, all right, being a hitman and being a whatever it is that you're doing wickedly, okay? You can't sleep real good because you're doing wickedness, all right? The Lord requires us to go through the straight gate, all right? Just off the top, let's get Matthew, the seventh chapter, all right? We're just going through the Spirit. This is a quick lesson. This is Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. All right, so this idea will lead you into destruction, okay? You're going to get caught up out there because everything that he has set up is against the Israelite man, okay? You can't beat him at his own game. Somewhere down the line, this man idea will have him in a snare, okay? Because Esau's system is a trap unto us, okay? So he will find himself in a prison and now his kids will be back with an unfit mother all right or the state will take custody of the children so it's a bad idea all right it's a bad idea narrow is the way which is to follow the lord's law statute and commandments and to generate income legally all right however you may do that but do it legally okay matthew 7 and 14 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Yeah, few may find it. All right? A man that's following the law, statute, commandments and walking in all the Lord's ways. Okay? Because walking in the Lord's ways will lead us to prosperity. All right? Marrying another man on paper. Hey, you got to do all types of tap dances, man. You're going to have to look over your shoulder, be in certain situations, all right, that may be uncomfortable. All right, when you go out to the public, you may have to play it off. All right, the children are confused because what? It's an unorthodox situation. Okay, you got to go to the schools, you know, and, and, and eventually someone will figure it out and pretty much do what? Report them. Okay, and then what? The repercussions kick in. All right. 
So this is Esau's world. We can't forget that. Jake is still blinded by the God of this world, not seeing that he controls the laws. Okay? What does Job 9.24 say? It says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, which means we have to abide in the laws of this land. All right? This is Romans 13. All right? I got it in the NLT. It says, obey the government. For God is the one who has put it there. There is no government anywhere that God has not placed in power. So those who refuse to obey the law of the land are refusing to obey Yahabobashim Yahabashai and punishment will follow. See, punishment will follow. All right, it says Satan will cast you into prisons. All right, how's he going to do that? He's going to use men to do it. So we already have strikes against us. Now you want to marry a man on paper. You have all the girlfriends you want. He got all the girlfriends he can have. You got women running through the house, plus seven kids, plus the children that the other man have. Hey, it's just confusion. And Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai is not the author of confusion. And he hates a false balance. Okay? Right, what's that in the book of uh, Proverbs 11 chapter? The Lord hates a false balance. It's an abomination to him. And that just shows us that the rulership that he has right now is going to flow unto us because he hates a false balance. So in this rulership, which is Esau's, we have to follow his laws and his rules. But soon and very soon, they will follow ours and we're going to be in power. All right. And that balance that we read in Proverbs 11 will lean towards us in the new Jerusalem. Okay, pursuing to uh, prophecy of 2nd Edges, the 6th chapter. Let's get that. All right, this is 2nd Edges 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that following. All right, so the heathen are going to have to follow us and follow our laws, okay, which will be just. Jake won't have to sneak around and get over for benefits anymore. Or even having an idea like this because everything is going to flow into Israel and the nations will be subjected unto us. So this idea that he has, it ain't going to work. The woman on the left, Eve, will probably snitch on you. She already probably reported this interview. So go through the straight gate. All right. And follow the Lord's law, statute, commandments. And we have to follow the laws of this land until everything is changed over into us. All right, so I hope this lesson has been edifying to the body and the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, tonight is the Day of Atonement. All right, sundown tonight until sundown tomorrow. So I just wanted to add that to this epistle. This is the brother Azana Ma. On to the next show. Oh, crazy. Shit, I'm a